everybody welcome to another video in my christmas 2022 holiday 2022 um series so this is um an explosion box and i'm very excited to show it to you guys i actually haven't made many explosion boxes so this was a whole lot of fun and it is so easy you guys can make this in under an hour for sure so I did use the Simple Stories Simple Vintage Christmas Lodge collection. Um, this is such a beautiful collection, you guys. It's just every paper is perfection. I absolutely love it. Um, so I did make it a little bit different than I think I've, I've seen. Um, there is a, an opening so you can actually see into the top. I don't know if you'll be able to just because of the lighting here. Um, but it is super, super cute. So I used the stickers um, from the sticker sheet. There are some stickers on here that I used. I used them on the front here. And other than that, I kept it really simple. I just used some of the beautiful papers from the collection. And then when we open it, it explodes out. And... I'm not sure if I'll be able to. I can almost, I think, get the whole thing in uh, frame for you guys. So it is really kind of simple but perfect. I absolutely love it. Um, so all four flaps are the same. Uh, so it's going to be really easy to put together. So we make these adorable pockets in the um, tutorial. They're really easy to do. So I have a little insert that's going to go in here. And then I used a lot of the stickers from the sticker collection and I left them open under here so that you can um, stick your photo under still. So really, really nice there. And then these, uh, this is a pocket here. So you have a nice um, four and three quarters by four and three quarters insert that goes in there. And all of the pockets have that. So really, really beautiful. So insert in that pocket. And then the pocket back here. Lots of nice space for photos. And those stickers in the sticker collection are just absolutely gorgeous. And then another insert here. And then down here we have another insert and then another insert but we're not done. So these two open and these two open and I will not be able to show to you guys all in one screen, but you have so much more space for photos in here. So just in one, this one section alone, you have space for eight photos and then they all just close back up and they are magnetically closed. Um, so I am so super excited to do this project with you guys. I absolutely love, love, love this. And I think I'll be making a couple more because it's absolutely adorable. So then your flaps just come back up. Grab your lid first. And then the lid just goes right on to close it all back up all right so I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial um, and if you haven't yet I would love if you would subscribe and let me know maybe what you think of this super cute project I was thinking in the center here it would be so adorable to do like a little gift so you could do a box of chocolates because you do have five inches of room so it could be Anything like maybe say four and three quarters by four and three quarters could go in the middle here and you could put a bottle of perfume, you could do chocolates, you could do mittens, you could do socks. Um, so many things would be great to go in the middle here, um, uh, you know, for gift giving. I think that would be just so fantastic. If you haven't joined my Create with Martha Tucker Facebook group, I would absolutely love if you would and I will have that linked below. Now gets, let's get to the tutorial. All right guys, so let's get started with our base. 
So for the actual bottom of the box, you just need one piece of your cardstock that's five by five. I'm gonna be using 65 pound red cardstock from Michaels for this whole thing. And then for your flaps that your explosion part, you need four that measure five by five and a half. And on the five and a half inch side, you're gonna score at half an inch, okay? Then we can go ahead and fold and burnish all of our score lines. This is such a fun project. I think it would make such a, a, a great gift for really anyone in your life, but I think maybe kids especially or grandparents would really appreciate this one. So fold and burnish. And then we're going to go ahead and miter all of our score lines. So remember when we miter, we cut away from the score line, not into it. So right at the edge of it. And then snip. And we do this to hide construction and reduce bulk. Just go around all four of your little flaps and do the same thing. All right, so let's get our base back in. And so now what we're gonna do is just glue all of these around our little five by five piece. So I'm just gonna use my little glue bottle here with my arc litter glue in it. And I've been getting some questions in the comments about my little glue bottles. And I just get them, I just get them on Amazon. So because our base is five by five and we're gluing a essentially five by five piece to it, the easiest way is just to line it up with the base and then that is gonna be perfect. So just line it right up with your base and you can pick it up too and make sure it's nice and flush. And we'll do this next one here. And again, just line it up with the base. that it's nice and flush and then we'll do the last one here line it up with the base you can pick it up make sure it's not hanging over or anything all right and then just like that we have our little base created. All right, so now that we've got all of our sides attached, let's do our pockets. So I have four pieces of my red cardstock here that measure six by four and a half. And on the six inch side, you're gonna score it half an inch, flip it in the scoreboard and score it half an inch. And then on the four and a half inch side, you're just gonna score at half an inch. Okay, and we need to have all four of these so let's fold and burnish them. So now that we've all got them all folded and burnished, let's go ahead and cut across our corners. So right where those score lines intersect, just right, right below that, 
we are just going to cut across and again this is just to hide bulk or sorry to prevent bulk because these will be hidden anyways all right so now the way the pockets are going to go on I want them all facing towards the outside okay so they're gonna go like this and then like this and like this so basically you'll just be attaching them all along this score line down here so that all of the pockets are gonna open towards the outside okay so I'm gonna glue one on with you and then I'll glue the other three on after that. So I always like to burnish my pockets from the top. So we will just put some glue on the bottom flap first. And I'm gonna attach it right along the score line down here just like this and then you can burnish it open it up and burnish and then add your glue to these side flaps and bring it down. Just like this. All right, so now this one will get attached here with the opening towards the outside. This one will get attached here with the opening towards the outside. And this one will get attached here with the opening towards the outside. All right, so now that all of our pockets are attached, the tops of all of our pockets are going to have a flap and our flap measures four and a half by five and on the four and a half inch side you're going to score at half an inch okay and you're going to do that for all four of your flaps and then we will fold and burnish them just like this all right so they are going to get attached along the opening of our pockets, okay? On all four sides, along the opening of the pocket like this, okay? So we need to miter these. So you can go ahead and miter them all. Really quick and easy. All right, and now, like I said, they're all gonna get attached right along the top opening of our pockets. So right along the opening here. And we'll put a magnet on to close it up after to make sure the flap stays closed after because I want to we're going to add a pocket on top of this and I don't want the magnet to be in the way of that. All right, now let's work on our cute little peekaboo pockets. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your piece of red cardstock and it measures five by three and a half. On the five inch side, you're gonna score it half an inch, flip it in the scoreboard and score half an inch. And on the three and a half inch side, you're just gonna score at half an inch, okay? Then what I did with my ruler, I marked in an inch from this side, from the score line, an inch in, and from this side, from the score line, an inch in. And then I did the same thing from the bottom, so an inch in and an inch in from the score line. And then for the 
the side ones here, I marked up from the bottom one inch and one inch, and then I collect, I connected all of those score marks with my ruler and a pencil, okay? And to cut this out, you could use your paper trimmer, you could use a craft knife. Um, I'm just gonna use my scissors. I'm gonna keep it really, really simple. Just like this. And then cut along this bottom one here. And then we can just go ahead and erase all those extra score lines, or sorry, <laughs> extra pencil marks. Most of it will be covered by our pattern paper, but some of it won't. All right, and then you can either do the same thing for the other three, just measure them all again, or you can just take this one, put it on top of your other ones, and just use your pencil and draw that you know that rectangle or whatever and then just cut that out just use it as a template okay so i've already done my other three so we're going to do this one put this one on together so we just need to cut across our corners just like we always do for our pockets and you can put acetate in the back here you would just need like maybe a let me see probably two and a quarter by three and three quarters, a piece of acetate, you could put it on there and then just make sure it's flush with the top. I don't want acetate on mine, so I'm not going to put it on mine. I've kind of been liking the no acetate look lately. All right, so just score on, or fold and score all your score lines and then burnish from the top. So now with your pockets, you can kind of, you know, there's a couple different ways. For these two sides here, there's really only one way that makes sense and that's like this, right? But for these two, these two flaps, you can either put your pocket on this side or this side. And same thing down here, you can either put it on this side or this side that's totally um your choice i think i'm going to do mine opposite so one like this and then one like this down here all right so but for these there's only really one way they can connect so i'm going to put my glue here on my bottom little flap i'm going to attach this right here along the bottom and burnish it. And then I'll put glue on the back of these flaps. And just bring that up. I think that looks so stinking cute. All right, so I've got all my pockets attached. So now let's do our magnets. So I've got my 12 by one millimeter magnets here and I just get these on Amazon. And I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape. And I'm gonna put one about right there. And then I'm gonna put my tape upside down on the other one. So sticky side up. And then just close that down. And then that'll keep all of our little flaps closed. So I've already done that to the other flaps. So that basically finishes the construction of the inside of our cute little box. So now let's work on our lid. All right, so now let's work on our lid. So our lid is the piece of cardstock that we need is seven and an eighth by seven and an eighth. So the finished lid will be just an eighth of an inch larger than our base, just so it fits on there really nicely. 
So what you're going to do is on all four sides of your cardstock, you're going to score at an inch. So you're going to score at one, 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 and one. Okay, so it's going to give you an inch score line all the way around. And then what I've done here is from the score line in, I've measured an inch on this side and an inch on this side. Then the same thing all the way around, I measured in an inch on all four sides and then I connected all of those marks with a ruler and a pencil. So I've made my lines here. And now we're just gonna cut this center part out, okay? So I've got something I can cut on here and a metal ruler and my craft knife. And I'm just going to cut this center out. And depending on your craft knife, you might have to go a couple of times. These ones are really good. Just like the ones you get from the um, hardware store work really well. All right, so that is all cut out. And we can go ahead and erase these lines because we do not need them. So just kind of focus on the edges of them because the rest will be covered with pattern paper. All right, so let's put this piece aside here for a second. And let's talk about the pattern paper. So my pattern pa paper measures four and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And then I did the same thing. I marked in at three quarters of an inch, 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 three quarters, three quarters. And then I connected all of those with a pencil and a ruler. And I'm just gonna cut this center part out. All right, so now that's all cut out and that is gonna get glued right on here and it's gonna just fit in there beautifully. But let's go ahead and create the actual lid. So what we need to do is we need to cut up these score lines, okay? So we're gonna cut up like this and then we can come in at an angle on this side, okay? So cut up your score line and then you can come in at an angle and you're going to go around and do the same thing on all four sides. I'm finding it very difficult to see on this red cardstock today. I don't know why. Maybe my lighting is different in my craft room. That is possible. All right, so now we need to fold and burnish all of our score lines. All right, so now we just have to glue our tabs together on the corners. So I'm gonna use my our glitter glue for this. So just bring them together so that the corners are really nice and square and flush. Just like this. Take your time. These are so quick to put together, these little explosion boxes, and they're just such a wow thing for people. I um, 
that's one thing I really love about them. I haven't made a ton, in all honesty, but I do love making them when I do. All right, so that is our cute little lid. So let's put the acetate in here, which it went walking away on me because it's clear. So the acetate measures four and three quarters by four and three quarters, and it's just going to go right in here. Okay, so just go ahead and remove your the backing of your tape. I like to use tape whenever possible with acetate because when you get glue on it, it gets really hard to get it off and sometimes it's even impossible. So if I can use tape, I, I use tape. All right, and that's just gonna go right in here just to cover that up and then we can pop our pattern paper on here already now as well so i'm just using my beacon glue here because i like some time for it to be able to move around when i'm doing really specific layering just be careful not to get any of it on your acetate make sure you get a nice even border on the outside and the inside and that's our cute little lid so let's fit it onto our base make sure it fits really nice and good and there we go how beautiful is this and then you can see inside of it which I think is super, super cool. And then when you open it, it all just falls apart. Okay guys, and then for the pockets, for these kind of, you know, our little peekaboo pockets, um, I'm gonna show you how to mat these. So you need a piece of your pattern paper that's two and a quarter by three and three quarters. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna mark in on the three and three quarters side, you're gonna mark, mark in at three quarters of an inch and then three quarters of an inch on the other side and you're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. So three quarters of an inch, three quarters of an inch, then you're gonna mark up from the bottom, three quarters and three quarters and then just connect all of those tick marks with a ruler and a pencil. And now we're just going to cut out that section. And again, you are more than welcome to use a craft knife for this but I didn't feel like it was necessary all right and then you know we would just layer this on here like this right so it layers perfectly so you can again just take your um your next pattern paper so say for instance you know this is your next piece just pretend they're the same size and just draw around again so that you don't have to keep measuring all of them or if you want to you can keep measuring all of them all right guys so the other thing i did is i made a mat for the inside of the box lid just to cover up our acetate like where we taped it and i made it the exact same way we made the mat for the front of the box um, but that is it for today so I hope you guys really liked this. I think it's so stinking cute. I love that you can see inside of it and you can put a little gift in there and whoever gets it will see that little gift in there. And I think that's such a cute little, cute little idea. So um, you guys will have seen the finished little explosion box at the beginning of the video and i'm just going to go through and mat this and you guys know i just go down a quarter of an inch for all of my mats um if you guys haven't yet joined my create with martha tucker facebook group i would love if you joined me over there and if you haven't subscribed i'd love if you would subscribe um and let me know what you think of this cute little project all right guys i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye